Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Souls with Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. This time, Michael brought a creepy game. It's called Spooky Games, Spooky you will. Game. A serial game. killer game. Bum, bum, bum. Last Friday. Now, for reasons... This is... Similar to another franchise. This is similar to, but legally distinct from another Friday-centric horror series with the serial killer. Yes. We cannot call it that on this uh, video, though. No, but this is Last Friday from Aries Games. From Aries Games, and this is basically, um, you know, a game about kids at summer camp who get stalked by a murderer. You know, Again, growing similar, up as a kid, I, I went to summer camps, and we never had any of those problems. I never went to summer camp because um, of those problems. Yeah, I was scared, basically. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Well, let's go take a look inside Last Friday. Here we have Last Friday. Some legends never die. As you can see again, similar to, but legally distinct from other Friday themed horror franchises. Mm -hmm. So uh, He's not wearing a sports related mask. That you can see. Touche. Yes. Definitely does, not. A, does have a machete, does have a similar sort of. But that's a very common look. tool. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Machetes are used all the time in uh, yeah. lakeside cabins. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Clearing brush is very. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So you do have the uh, the front cover there, obviously. Uh, Ultimate survival horror experience. Ooh. They're promoting a lot there. So we'll see if they ever That's a big the map, by the way. There is a big old map of the, uh, the camp setting with the with the lake and everything like that uh, you can see sort of a read uh, read the description oh here. it's 1980 that's why it is 1980 okay. uh okay. they're at camp apache in the mm -hmm. past there's a man spectacle from murders drowned in the lake his body was never discovered the that doesn't sound any it, I, it really I've never heard sounds that. original and uh fresh is the name of the lake camp court uh lake courts <laughs> i don't know actually is it, um i don't know but yeah, you do have all sorts of different uh, camper cards, bunch of tokens you can see. Right here you see it is 13 and up, so uh, a little more appropriate than certain franchises you might be thinking of yeah, for a younger sure. audience. Uh, about 45 minutes to play and two to six players, which is great. You don't see a lot of six player games. Yeah, actually I like that when they give you the option for the yep. extra players, because yep. you need them. And they so. say here it's um, divided into four chapters. You can play them individually or, or over one long night. So it is sort of uh, it is sort of mm. a uh, multi ex multi game experience but if you wanted. Last Friday. Last Friday. Last Friday. All right. So got uh, components here. Of course, you just get a catalog. Got to have there. one of those. Don't need that rule book here. Don't we'll need take that a look at that yet. in a minute. It's full color though. That's good. You get a uh, a screen Whoa. here. Whoa. This is for the uh, for the killer. As you can see, you got his image on the back there. You get different sort of slots and you know maps and things like that for all his uh, stuff he needs to track. What is on the inside here? Looks like just assembly instructions, basically. Mm. But um, you use all this. Oh wait, wait, wait! This is this is kind of creepy too, because look, it's like blood, but then there's bloody boot prints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good job, team. But yeah, you will you will use all these for your different attempts to murder people if you're playing as the killer. Which, I mean, seems like a good call in this type it of game. It seems like it would be, yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you have different types of tokens for different sorts of things. Uh, you have key tokens and listen tokens and shovels and stuff like that that you, that you, would, that you would find in use. Are they double-sided? They are indeed double-sided. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. There's a boat. There's a tent. There's a killer token, some other you know, weird tokens, footprints, all sorts of crazy stuff. So not too, too many tokens, but... Looks like you got a mount. Right. And then we have the big old map that we talked about. Just scooch that a little bit this yeah, way. Yeah, I'll move this aside. We'll get into the other components in a second. It's a big map. It is a big map, like you said. It's like a like a Fury of Dracula sized map. Wow, yeah. It, it says, just keeps going. It says, you can't really tell it's upside down here. too much on the camera, but it is a big piece of cardboard. Wow. Uh -huh. I mean, we're at 200 plus locations at this yep. point. A lot of different places to be, which <laughs> is again why they say like you can play this over multiple nights if you want because you'll, you know, be moving all around the camp. I only things. want to play on Friday nights. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but then you have sort of uh tracking uh, you know, indicators down here that are of course shaped like a bloody machete as you can see. Got to. Um and yeah, so pretty pretty expansive map. Um Does this go to space camp? This is a camp that teaches I'm kids gonna to go, go ahead to space. And, I'm going to assume it's a space camp. Okay. Because that's that's the narrative I like to create in my head. That's the next step for me is like yeah. after the camp murders, you go to maybe, space. Maybe if you if you uh, fly away from the murder in a spaceship, you win. That's, I like, well, we have to find, we have to read the rules to find out. We'll have sure. to, yeah. But this is, this is a cool map. It's a big old map. Yeah. We'll fold it up for right now and we'll get a couple other components over here. What else we got? So of course you have some uh, indicators for uh, player tokens and stuff like that. <laughs> 
pretty pretty standard stuff. Nothing too fancy, but they are. Uh, it looks like it feels like they are made of wood and they are painted, of course. Yeah. You get all sorts of other little tokens and things. Oh, yeah. slots we we do stuff. we do always appreciate the vacuum formed uh -huh. plastic for yep. storage. That's always a good touch. And then you have small decks of cards. These are of course. Uh, for Jonah Hill. Here. Jonah Hill or Sam. Jonah Hill playing Sam. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, um, you know, some some stats and stuff on the back. There's one of my favorites is the uh, the little line down here. Like when Susan's eliminated from the game, everybody immediately moves one white dot. Ooh. It's like you kill her and then she cries out and people start running. Yeah. So they have different stats and abilities and uh, little token spaces and stuff oh, like that. Okay. So. Yeah, all sorts of all sorts of Those crazy like stuff. Rooms or something. Yeah, it's like a breakdown of, of so rooms in the the Whoa. camp and different places you can be in the room. So very detailed. Yeah, very this is game. this is pretty crazy looking. Like uh -huh. I, I definitely want to take a look at these rules real quick and yeah. uh, and just read let's up. Grab them. those so over let's, here. Let's do that. The last Friday rulebook here. Let's uh, it is indeed get right in here. here. So so you get a uh, a nice full cover, sixteen page rulebook. Count the back sheet. The back sheet has a summary of all the chapters you're gonna play in the game. Like we said, it's very important. Four chapter game, and you know there's different rules, different uh, goals basically. So for like chapter one, you arrive. Mm -hmm. All you're trying to do is avoid the killer and find the keys to hide. But as you get further, it's like. Oh, you're trying to catch him. Oh, now you're trying to the massacre. Now you're trying to protect somebody. Oh, now you're trying to catch him and stop him. Yeah. So there's different there's different rules for each little scenario that you play, and okay. uh, there are rules, of course, for playing specific chapters if you don't want to do the whole experience. Right. I'm I'm guessing that the game is actually 45 minutes per chapter. Yeah. It's it's roughly it's roughly that. Um, basically, your object here, like you like we talked about a little bit, is if you're a camper, you're trying to find the maniac, stop him, or run away, and, or run away, or end his you know reign of terror. And the maniac, of course, is trying to murder everyone. I mean, can you blame him? Not really. I mean, you know, if you if you drowned at a camp and you know nobody found your body or whatever, it'd be like, well, nobody ever sh should come back to this. I mean, look how again. Buffy became after he's that. pretty he's so, pretty swole, if you will. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a yeah. good. You know, yeah. Good reason. I guess I'd be angry too. I kind of would be too, but mm. anyway. So yeah, full color rule book like we talked about. There's a gym underwater. He was doing water oh, exercise. Oh, he went to he went to, he went to Atlantis. Hung out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's exactly. the narrative we're creating for this game. Yep. And they go to space. Aries Games does not uh, advocate for this, unfortunately. <laughs> so there's the setup, of course, for all the different things you need to do. There's different components and stuff. Uh, it does tell you basically, you know, what what each token is for. Clue tokens. All the different cabins, your maniac tokens, your different maniac track uh, sheets and stuff like that. And then you basically just get into how to play, you know, simple rules, breaks down the camper tokens, how the maniac interacts, what you can do on your turn, special moves, and um, basically, I mean, it's it's essentially a, a deduction game, if you will. Yeah, it does It does look a little bit like Fury of Dracula, yeah. but the flip side is that you're not actually running all the time. You're, yeah, you're actually you're, trying not there to are certain killed. In certain chapters, you're trying to murder everyone. Yeah. And then there's specific tokens. You know, there's a bear trap, there's a lantern, there's shovels, and all sorts of extra stuff. Like, if you can imagine being in this horror movie, you're like, oh, a lantern, that's helpful. Let me go and light it up, and then the killer stabs you with the giant Yeah, knife. because now he can see you in now the dark. Now he can see you in the dark, yeah. So, good job. So, <laughs> there are, um, you know, again, more tokens, more breakdowns of the rules. There's survival tips here, which is very helpful. Yeah. Um, so you can you, know, you can read this and it's like, well, opening the cabins, <laughs> if you open up the cabin doors, it benefits you later. Because then obviously if you open it, you know, in, in the first night or in the first session, in the third session, it's already open. You don't have to go find the key I love it. this tip. Alcohol is not allowed in the camp. There's a line through it. There's, like, there's some yes, they've there crossed is. out, like, fishing in the lake is strictly forbidden. Not, any, you'll fish not up anymore. Because you'll fish up a murderer. Yep. Yeah. Hunting is strictly forbidden. This yep. is this is Camper Frederick. This is this Camper Frederick. Yep. Is that your name? Is no. The, the official. His last name is uh, Krugerer. Krugerer. Frederick Krugerer. Yep. Is the new horror movie protagonist we've all mm -hmm. been waiting for. Mm -hmm. So then it breaks down each chapter of the game um, and what you're supposed to accomplish, like we talked about a little bit on the back. Sure. Um, in longer format, of course. But um, yeah, I mean it's basically sort of an episodic game. Tells you, you know, how to win, how to lose, and uh, pretty, pretty simple once you get into it. A lot of, a lot of big, you know, detailed components, but yeah. actually a very simple game. Uh, I, I broken down into littler pieces. Yeah, I, I want to take a take a stab at this one because it, it seems ha, like ha, a good. Ha, ha, um, ha, 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 I didn't even mean to do that, but uh -huh. I really did. Uh, I, it looks like a fun game. Yeah. It does look like a lot of fun. I agree, and uh, and I mean, if you're the maniac, you get to take your friends. If up. you're the maniac, yeah, I feel like it would be super fun if you're the maniac because then you get to like stalk around and yeah. murder people. Then but you then, can really set the mood lighting yeah. and freak your friends out. Even but then more. if you're if you're the a camper, then you get to work together and you have a yeah. team on your side. 
side. Yeah. So I can see it being a lot of fun either way. I am also you know excited to try it out and uh, yeah. Last Friday. Last Friday. Let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was last Friday. You saw there from Aries Games. From Aries Games. Lots indeed. of cool stuff in there. Very cool board. Very uh, detailed. A lot price of things numbers. Going. Price point on this one was also about. Uh, price point's going to be about uh, fifty dollars. Okay. Forty nine ninety nine, roughly. It's brand new. Cool. Just now in stores. Uh, it's going to be from uh, about age thirteen and up. So, but yeah. you know, subject mature matter. Themes, yeah. Subject matter might be a little mature for some. Or the people. tokens choking. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Shouldn't take you more than about forty-five minutes to play, depending yeah. on uh, how many chapters. How many yeah. chapters you do? Yeah, from from what we can tell, it is about forty-five minutes per chapter. Right, right. Assuming. Yeah. Um, and then mm -hmm. and you can play two to six players. You Obviously, do need somebody, one player to be the best. Somebody has to be the uh, the maniac, maniac, as he's called. I call so, him Maniac McGee. Maniac McGee, that's well, that, the new well, name, well, Aries Games. You heard it here first. <laughs> well, this is brand new, so in stores right now. Right now. Go check it out. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Hustles. I'm Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. This has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.